The Dead Vault Horror Show is brought to you by Phoenix Comics and Toys, Ghost of Detroit Underground at Bandcamp, The Dr. Ghoul Show, Chop Block TV on Amazon Fire and Roku, and ButcherMedia.com. Advertisement, production, and distribution. <laughs> Welcome to Chop Block TV. my friends and once again welcome to the dead vault horror show as always i am forever your cult horror host the key master slash of poe and tonight my ghoulies i hope you brought your shovels because tonight we unlock the dead vault and exhume the coffins of forgotten horror indeed my ghoulies Tonight, this will be hosted by two horror hosts. Indeed, me, as well as the creep, Tom Savini. <laughs> the second horror anthology presents more eerie tales based on Stephen King's stories. One episode finds a cigar store owner, a Native American statue, coming to life to avenge the death of the shop owner and his wife. Another feature, a group of teens menaced by a blob-like creature. And the final installment follows a wealthy and callous woman who hits a hitchhiker with her car and decides to flee the scene. But the victim isn't inclined to remain dead. Indeed, this coffin classic is entitled Creep Show 2 by Stephen King. The release date, May 1st, 1987, directed by Michael Gornick, with a budget of $35 million. Jeebus, that is a lot of cash for back then. But once again, my friends, grab your shovels and dig it as we exhume Creep Show 2. Enjoy. Hey everyone, this is Ryan Lambert from the Monster Squad. When I'm not kicking Wolfman in the Nards, I'm watching the Dead Vault Horror Show on Chop Block TV Horror Network at ButcherMedia.com with your host, the Keymaster. Come join the Dead Vault Cult.
I've never seen anyone so impatient, Billy. As if your life depended on getting the first copy off the presses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking Jimmy's crack corn. <laughs> and you stop that grinning. You've heard me sing that silly song a thousand times. <laughs> yeah, it's time for a touch up, my old friend. 
The sun's bleaching out your colors again. Now, I'm going to try and keep my hand steady. But I ain't what I used to be. Yeah. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. We got to keep your war paint fresh. Big Chief without war paint is like... It's like... Like a storekeeper without a town to sell his goods to? Martha, me and the Chief been standing on this porch for more than 30 years. We ain't about to move now. I'm not asking you to move, Ray. I wouldn't want to move myself. Well, then what are you asking, Martha? What do you want me to do? I want you to quit, Ray. Just quit. Quit? You mean close the store? Yes. While you still have a little time left to get something out of life instead of always putting in. Martha, this store made it possible for us to get married. This store sent the girls off to school. This store has given us the savings to give to our grandchildren. This store, Ray, at one time sat in the middle of a thriving young town that seemed to have a future. Look at it now. The town of Dead River is finally living up to its name. It's dead, Ray. The jobs have moved away. The money has moved away. Ray, it's been four days since you've had a cash-paying customer. It's been four weeks since anyone has given you any money on a credit account. Oh, if you keep supporting these people, we won't have anything to leave to the grandchildren except good intentions. Well, there's worse things to inherit than good intentions, Martha. Good intentions built this country. Good intentions tore this country down, Ray. Beginning to tear you down. Do you think these people care about you? They'll take your charity until it dries up, and then they'll leave you. You and that wooden Indian of yours. I won't dry us up, Martha. I promise you that. It's just that we took a lot of healthy profits out of this town. Just like to give some of them profits back in its time of need. Oh, there's Benjamin White Moon. In his chauffeur-driven limousine. To him. Oh, I'll be nice to him all right. Oh. Because you want me to be. But don't let him take too much advantage. You're too good to these people, Ray. I should have learned by now never to paint you on a dry day. Got the hay race, Bruce. Howdy, Benjamin. Got the hay, Chief Woodenhead. <laughs> Chief says, Got the hay. What can I do for you this afternoon? May we go inside? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. What can I get for you, Benjamin? I am ashamed to stand inside this place. Why, my people are so much in your debt, race, Bruce. There's no shame for an honest man, Benjamin. Time's just been tough for all of us. What you need?
Good afternoon, Martha Spruce. Good afternoon, Benjamin. I have brought you this. What in the... What in the world is this? It is the Elinne. Dajachimba. These are the things my people hold precious. Each family has offered one of its most cherished treasures. You will keep them until our debts are paid. If we cannot pay in two autumns, the Elinne are yours forever. No, no, there's no way I can accept this. Wait, Benjamin. Wait. 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 Now, there's no way in hell I'm going to take these things away from your people. It is a bad thing to borrow. It is the worst thing to beg. While you hold the Eline, we are borrowers. We can still have pride. If you give the treasure back to us, you make us beggars again. Such insult could never be forgiven. A ato Eliniki. Goshi. Good afternoon, Martha Spruce. Goodbye, Benjamin. I mean, <clears throat> good afternoon. Keep them safe. I regard them with my life. Times I'm going to take an upturn, Benjamin. I can smell prosperity in the air. Ah, oh, good thing. I wish that it could be. A coin, A Oh, Benjamin. I was just scolding Ray. I was telling him that he puts too much trust in people, that they never earned it and they don't deserve it. Well, you, you and your people have certainly proven me wrong. You're watching the Dead Vault Horror Show with the Keymaster Slasher Poe here on Chop Block TV on Amazon Fire and Roku. Tune in every week, or perish in the flames. <laughs> oh, this is good country, Martha. It'll come back to life someday. It'll come back to life. I'll finish your war paint tomorrow, Chief. <laughs> That's a problem.
Take what you want. Wait a minute. You, you just can't come in here. Shut up, White Ice. Just shut the fuck up. Or else I'll have to shove something into your mouth to keep you quiet. Hey, Sam, why don't we shove this in his mouth? <laughs> no! Shove this in his mouth! He big! <laughs> Sam Whitemoon, you're a disgrace to you. I said shut up, old man. Y your Uncle Benjamin was just here. He's one of the best men I know. Hard to believe the same blood flows in your veins. I guess you don't hear so good shit, face. I said shut up! We're just here to do a little shopping, that's all. We didn't get everything we needed last time we were in. You asked us to leave. Remember, old man? You were stealing things. We're stealing things now. Why don't you ask us to leave? Prune the base? Yeah, why don't you run us out of town, Sheriff? Ask us nice. Say please. Pretty please with sugar on it. Nah. Is this all the cash you got? That's all. Empty your pockets. Look, I haven't got it. Empty your fucking pockets, asshole. Or I'm gonna ask my buddy here to bring me something off the hardware shelf that I can use to slice off your fingers. That's all. When we came in through the back there, I saw a purse. Go get it, lady. Move, lady, or I'm gonna blow off your old man's I'll go be geez. Stuff back there. I'll, I'll pull this trigger. This thing work? What? The phone machine. Does it work? Yes. Look at this, sweetheart. Tell me this ain't a movie star. What are you kidding? Yeah, they gotta make me a movie star. Hey, as soon as they see this hair, they're gonna say, Sam, get over here. Get in front of these cameras. There's a hundred million women out there. Just waiting to run that hair between their legs. Nine years it took me to grow this hair, man. I'm not just fucking around here. I'm going to Hollywood, man. And this hair is gonna get me paid and laid. Over here, lady. Over here, lady. Right over here, and don't move. Okay? Give me. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Hey. Hey, you know that movie about the guy that's got, like, these superpowers and shit because of his hair? Then this bitch cuts his hair off, and he gets weak. He gets like an ordinary guy. You know that movie? 
I'm better looking than the guy in that movie. Don't you think? Here, here, take a look. Take a look. Ah, oh. Stay right where you are, old man, unless you want to see your lady come apart in two pieces. Sam, there's no cash around here. We got all the shit we need. Let's go. Not yet, rich boy. <laughs> Did you know my buddy here was rich? Mm. Well, his old man's rich. His old man bought my buddy here a firebird, man. A fucking firebird that's gonna fly us all to Hollywood, USA. And one more step and blam! Sam, there's nothing left for us to take. There's nothing here we need. Maybe there's nothing else you need, rich boy. But there's something else I need. Go get your car, Kevin. Get your fucking car, rich boy. We're leaving for L.A. a little sooner than we figured. Hey, Kavanaugh, you run out on me and I'll find you. I ain't running out on you, Sam. I ain't running nowhere. We're all in this together. Yeah, I, I know that, Sam. All right, old man. There's one more little item you'll have to turn over if you want this woman to live. What is it? That bag full of rock candy that my uncle brought over here today. I sit in your hand, isn't it? But toss it over here, and I'll let the lady go. Hey, Sam, what are you talking about? Uh, what do you mean, rock candy? There's $10,000 worth of silver and stone in that bag, man. The key is to the city of Los Angeles. <laughs> is that true, old man? Let me see. Sam, you, you, you can't take this. this. This belongs to your people, to the tribe. Stop! I mean, these are treasures Stop that, it! that you people have had for years. If you take these things... Stop it! Holy God, holy Jesus! Let's go, fat stuff. We got some money that needs spending. Holy shit. Holy Jesus. I've never seen nothing like that before. Yeah. Well, now you've seen it. Now you're gonna forget it. Forget it? All of us, me too. I wouldn't leave you behind, fat stuff. Shit, man. I gotta have my slave with me wherever I go. Hollywood. We're out of here. We're out of here, man. We're out of here, man. We're out of here for good. No more of this bullshit, man. No more eating dust for a living. There ain't no dust in Hollywood, man. And there ain't no fucking drive. But Tom and Wimpy ass red men, neither. Ho! Damn! Come on, let's get out of here!
Hello, boils and ghouls. It's me, John Kassir, the voice of the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> well, kiddies, you're watching the Dead Vault Horror Show. And check out Chop Block TV at ButcherMedia.com for the best in horror entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> we leave tonight. What? Yeah, whatever you say, Sam. We all go home, round up whatever shit we want to take. A rich boy, you pick me up at 11. Then we'll go get bad stuff. How about it, bad stuff? <laughs> Cisco, it's me, Pancho. I thought you realized me. There is something vaguely familiar about you, but my, how you have changed. Diablo wouldn't win if Loco wasn't around here somewhere. I look, but I don't see him. I still say it's for your own good, Bob. I know what I'm doing. Hey, why do you want to act so Look stubborn at like this, sweetheart? You know, put it There's no way this kid can miss. Both sides of you faces, and we don't like to do that to our friends. Friends, my eye. No. 
You're not alive, man. You can't be alive. May your spirit rest, old warrior. Akko and me. Akko. Well, kiddies, that was quite a price for young Sam White to pay. To pay. <laughs> Here's your package, Billy. C.O.D. Nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Not expensive for a toy ordered out of a funny paper. Crypto is not a funny paper. And this is no toy. Well, what is it then? It's a Venus flytrap bulb. A Venus what bulb? Venus flytrap. It's a plant that eats meat. <laughs> All that stuff's in. Those are probably just petunia bulbs. I don't think so, Mr. Haig. Still here, kiddies? Well, if old Chief Woodenhead didn't drive you away, you might enjoy this next splintering tale. Whittled from the same warm wood. <laughs> It's a splashy little ditty about some people who are left stranded without a paddle on a sea of blood. This bubbly bonbon is titled The Raft. Hey, horror fans, it's Kane Hodder. Also known as Jason from Friday the 13th, you are watching the Dead Vault Horror Show here on Chop Block TV, on Amazon Fire and Roku, with your horror host, The Keymaster. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube as well, or I will kill you. Just because you saw it there last week, don't mean it's going to be there now. Hey, Rachel! 
Mitchell. <laughs> Quiet down. Why don't you even talk too much? You don't be there. You don't be there. A little bit of. <laughs> you just what? A little bit of summer that somebody forgot to clean up and put away. The guys get on the lake, don't get the raft, and the lake's almost ready to freeze. Yeah, well, it better be there, Poncho. This has been a long 50 miles. I don't believe we're going swimming. Why not? What? Right? Our hands, number 32, offense. <laughs> and the crowd goes crazy. Yeah, that is fun. Just like you said, man. Beautiful. So quiet. Only a few summer homes in the lake. Yes. Everyone's gone by mid-September. Woo! Actually gonna do it, huh? Swim out to that raft. That's bullshit. Bullshit, man. Just playing Deke's game. Because you hope to get laid out here. Too damn cold to get laid. Walls are going to turn into ice cubes. <laughs> Let's go, Poncho. Vamanos. Let's win. Oh, sis, go, Poncho. Burr, Rachel, come on. Oh, this is crazy. This is totally crazy. Woo! Woo! Come on! 
swim faster. Randy, come on. Randy, what is your problem, man? Come on, help me get her up here. Swim! Swim! Swim faster! Swim, my LeBron! Come on. Brandy, have you gone crazy? This thing, I don't know what the hell it is. It's an oil slick. I guess. It's not an oil slick. Have you ever seen a perfectly round oil slick before? I've never seen an oil slick at all. Dad, I'm cold! Besides, Poncho, I don't believe in oil slicks, man. I only believe in what I can smell and taste and touch. <laughs> <laughs> Here, baby, smoke one of these. This will make us all feel better. Look like it was going after the girls. Oh, come on, Poncho. You said you sobered up, man. It looked like it was going after the girls. No one knows we're here. No one at all. You ever even seen an oil slick, Poncho? See an oil slick? Randy and I saw one on the Cape about four years ago. We pulled birds out of the surf and tried to clean them off. Oh, mucho ecological, Pancho. Mucho ecological. <laughs> uh, that oil slick we saw was just this big sticky mess in the water and streaks and smudges. It looked like an accident. This thing doesn't look like an accident. It looks like on purpose. What is it then, Randy? I mean, what is it? I, I, I don't know. I can't get worried about it, man. I mean, uh, no matter how hard I try, I just can't get worried about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're the brain ball. What the fuck is that thing? Nothing like this. Any science book I ever read. Take it in, Rachel! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Think we can swim past it, Randy? No! Listen, stop it, Laverne. I swear to God, I'm gonna smoke you. I mean it! I'm not kidding. Puncher, you think we can swim it? You saw how fast it took, right? Yo, yeah, well, maybe it was hungry then. Yo, know, now maybe it's full, huh? Why don't you try it, Deke? We're gonna wait. We'll wait for it to go away. I mean, the thing came, it'll go away. It came and we came. I saw it come. Like it smelled us. 
Maybe if it's full, like you say, it'll go away. But if it still wants chow... Shit, Poncho. It looks like it's going under the raft, man. Did it go under us? Did it go under the raft? Is it under us? Yeah. And I'm gonna swim for it right now. No! Don't leave us here! Don't! I'm fast and I can make it. You gotta go while it's underneath the raft. <laughs> Tired, Laverne. I'm going to sit down. You're going to watch for a while. No, I can't. You've got to, Laverne. You'll watch, then I'll watch. We'll take turns. On the boards and watch the shore for lights or anything that might. It ain't deep. Yes. I'm cold. <sighs> Me too. What are we going to do? Wait. Only a loon. 
losing, Randy. I'm numb all over. Nothing I can do about it. Hold me. You got to. We'll hold each other. We can both sit and watch the thing together. Okay. Does anybody else want to go skinny dipping? <laughs> Not with that black amoeba monster floating around in the water. I think I will pass. <laughs> but nevertheless, my ghoulies, I hope you are enjoying this film thus far. This coffin classic box office release only netted $14 million. Considering it started $35 million to create this film. Jeez. But anyways, this is a coffin classic indeed. And once again, throw away those swimming trunks covered in that goo. Ew. Let's get back to the rest of these coffin classics, my friend. The final installment. The Hitchhiker. Enjoy, my friend. Well, swimmers, that was, um, slick.
I'm sorry. Uh-oh. Better look out, he's getting mad. Watch out, he might cry on you. He might tell his mom on you. What you gonna do with this? Plan it and grow more pansies like yourself? <laughs> Give me. Goddamn piece of digital junk. Could land me in divorce court. Why don't you use the wind-up alarm clock? Because I don't have a wind-up alarm clock. Get one. I'll pay for it. No, I, I hate the way they sound. They sound like, uh, like school bells between classes. This electronic alarm sounds like uh, early morning bird song. Makes me think that I'm waking up outdoors. I didn't know you were the outdoor type. Annie, please, come on. You've got your Mercedes. I'm never going to get mine at these prices. It's what you quoted me. It's what I've been paying you. A special introductory rate. That's what this was. I see. Hook them, then up the price. Is that it? Are you hooked? Maybe. Maybe. I do my job well. I expect to be paid well. Now, come on. I counted six orgasms, and you probably had others. Silently, so I wouldn't get a swelled head. You charged by the orgasm? Good idea. Maybe I should. Then at least I'd have something to work for. Peace work. <laughs> you have no shame. Next week. Unless I get a better paying job. Bye, love. I hope you're not in Dutch. I can get you a good attorney if it comes to that. I've got a good attorney. My husband. And I don't want to lose him. Without him, you'd never get your Mercedes. Hello, horror fans! 
friends, David Howard Thornton here, but you might know me as Art the Clown from the movie Terrifier, and you're watching the Dead Vault Horror Show on Chop Block TV's horror network at ButcherMedia.com with the key master slasher, Poe, the very best in horror entertainment. Just take it from this killer clown. 11.30. What do I say? I was... Out with Trudy and Jim. Now, we'll see Trudy and Jim on Saturday. I went to see a movie. I went to get laid, George. There's this wonderful guy. He charges $150, but that's for six. Count them six orgasms. Um, $25 a pop. Not bad. What do you think, George? Yeah, I want to report a hit and run. The victim's apparently dead. Hey, what, what's happening? What do you think's happening? The guy got creamed. That's what happened. It happens all the time. Um, about a quarter mile from the on-ramp on 395. Right.
don't actually know that. You don't know that. You're certain. It's done. It was an accident, a legitimate accident. So why should I fuck up my life, right? You're seeing things, bitch. You can't live with it. You can't live with the idea that... How you doing, lady? Thanks. Thanks for the ride.
そうか。
tree. Hit a tree, that's all. The whole thing was a dream. There was no hitchhiker. There was nobody at all. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. But where the hell am I? Oh, gotta get back on the road. You are one screwed up rod, Mrs. Lansing. <sighs> Maybe I've had a concussion. What are you supposed to do for a concussion? <sighs> oh, concussion, Mrs. Lansing. That'll cost you. Twenty-seven thousand dollars. I know it sounds like a lot, but... You're going to look like you just drove yourself out of the showroom. Mrs. Lansing, the money machine. Huh. Well, at least this will explain why I'm getting home so late. I had an accident, dear. It was a really frightening experience. For the first time in recorded history, he's late. My car gets smashed. My brain gets bent. And he's late. Don't you hurt me! There's a lesson for you, kiddies. Never pick up hitchhikers on the hood of your car. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for this uh, boogeyman to boogie. I'll be slaying you, boars and ghouls. <laughs> Till next issue, try to stay scared. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I almost forgot about young Billy. I think he's coming this way with his friends. <laughs> Yeah. 
kid? I'm gonna put you in traction. Get ready for some serious pain. Serious pain. Well, there you have it. Another coffin classic, exhumed and locked back into the dead vault for eternity. Indeed, Creepshow 2 absolutely loved this film. Even though it was a flop at the box office, it definitely stayed in the minds of us true horror fans forever. Indeed, good old Tom Savini playing the creep. And honestly, I didn't even know that. Well, when I was a kid, but... Indeed, good old Tom Savini. Make sure to check out his documentary on Shudder. Indeed, never a letdown with the stories by Stephen King, my ghoulies. Absolutely love that man and his books. Indeed, he has so many great, great stories. Cat's Eye, Tales from the Dark Side, Graveyard Shift, Quicksilver, I could go on for days. But it is that time, my ghoulies. Put your shovels away until next week, until we exhume the dead vault for another Coffin Classic. Make sure to tune in here each week on Chop Block TV on Amazon Fire and Roku, and soon coming to Select TV and Rabbit TV. And once again, I would like to say thank you to all of the horror hosting platforms out there that showcases the Dead Vault Horror Show. Indeed, it is that time. Make sure to give us a like and follow on Facebook and subscribe to both of our YouTube channels at The Dead Vault Horror Show and The Dead Vault Horror Show 2. Indeed, from the depths below, in to the fog we go. Ghoul night, my children.
check out Phoenix Comics and Toys and get your one-of-a-kind custom horror host figurines. That's right, kiddies. You can order them on Facebook or on eBay anytime, kiddies. <laughs> Tell them your bony little friend, the Crypt Keeper, sent you. <laughs> it won't get you a discount, but it might get you killed. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.